this video and hundreds more like it available on free Photoshop video tutorials.com. In this video we're going to learn how to make exquisite eyes which is uh, we're just going to do a bunch of things to make the eyes uh, more exciting bring out the colors and so forth so let's have a look here <clears throat> at our photo and uh, what we want to do here is just bring out some more details here on the eyes and essentially just accentuate this a little bit more even though the image is already pretty much already focusing in here we're going to uh, learn how to uh, do a bit of uh, messing around here <laughs> with the eyes bring it out more so the first thing we want to do here is um, just select uh, the whole area here of the of the eye. So what we can do here is uh, with our um, lasso tool, we're just going to select the whole area here. You're just going to carefully just do that. It doesn't have to be perfect, but uh, there you are. And we're going to add a new layer. And in this new layer, we're going to paint in here. Make sure opacity here is at 100%. Paint in with a brush and a hardness of zero. A brush. Uh, around 35 I think we'll do and we're just gonna paint that in with uh, with black here on the edges so we're just gonna paint just the edges right there just bring out some uh, that shadow in there in the eyes and uh, now what we want to do is uh, just um, set this to uh, multiply the mode and we're gonna set the opacity here at 40 percent so you can see the before and the after and you can, if you want to fix any of the details here, you can uh, just add a uh, layer mask. And with the layer mask and a small brush here, uh, of course, uh, black will remove uh, what you've just added. So if you see any extra bumps or anything that you added, just be sure to remove it there. So you're not adding much of a bump. You're just adding uh, more of a, a shadow on the eyes here. So, okay, so we have the shadow on our eyes. Good. Now the first thing, the other thing we want to do here is just go back into our original layer here and uh, with the uh, elliptical marquee tool we're going to select the iris. The easiest way to select the iris, it's usually round, right? So what we're going to do is just put your mouse at exactly the center of the eye here, the little black area, black spot, and we're just going to hold and expand with Alt. It'll, it'll expand from the center and then with Shift it'll expand uh, evenly round so you always make a, a round circle here and we're just going to select the iris here I'm just a little bit off so I'm just going to move that slightly off to the center there there we are and uh, we're going to um, feather our selection so we're going to go to select modify and feather and we're going to add a feather of around five pixels so we've added a little bit uh, of a feather and the feather does is it just it just makes a little bit blurry the edges here of what you're selecting so we're gonna go ahead and just do a control and J so now we have a copy of just the eye here and uh, now what we want to do bring out the details on the eyes more so we're just gonna sharpen it so we're gonna go into uh, filter sharpen and unsharp mask filter sharpen and unsharp mask and what we want to do here is add a whole bunch of this effect. So we're going to add in 500% amount. We're going to add in just a 2 pixel radius and the threshold of 4. And uh, if we can find here the eye, there we are. You can see what's going on here. Here's the before and here's the after. We're making it, bringing out a lot of the detail here. We're going to click OK. There you are, here before and the after. And of course this is, is a bit much, so what we're going to do here is uh, just set the uh, opacity of this to 50%. So it's a little less. There we are. And again, if you if there are any details that you selected, for example, here is uh, it's sharpening a little bit too much because obviously it's selected a little bit more. And then we can just go ahead and with our layer mask here, go ahead and delete that. And of course, just remember that black is uh, deleting the uh, effect here. So there we are. So we've got just the eye being really punched up here. And of course, I just want to mention here that, of course, the, on this photo, the, the other eye here is uh, largely, uh, <clears throat> you can't really see it. Of course, you could apply the same effects to both eyes, and ideally you would, but since we are uh, mainly just working on this image that mainly just focuses on this one eye, this is what we're, we're going to be focusing on. But of course, if you do have, you know, on your image, the two eyes, as you probably would do, uh, you want to be doing this to both eyes, one at each time, right? So now that we've done that part, now we want to go here into our dodge tool and uh, make sure that uh, our range here is on the highlights, our options here, and that our uh, exposure is uh, set a little bit higher. Instead of 25, we're going to go into 50% or thereabouts. So we are with our, just recapping here with the dodge tool, 
the range is set to highlights, so it's only going to affect the highlights, and uh, the exposure is set to 50%, and uh, we're going to put in a brush of around 10 pixels or thereabouts, small brush here, one that could maybe fit one or two of the brushes inside the eye. And uh, what we want to do, let me just zoom in here, making sure that we are not on our adjustment layer here, we are just on the layer itself. What you want to do is just make it a little bit lighter here on the bottom left. There we are. Now you can probably compare the before and the after if you just uh, go back here before the dodge and after. It's really easy to overdo here the details, that's why it's important to just go back here and see at which step you added maybe a little bit too much, right? So I'm comfortable with this. I think this is a good amount of highlight here. So we're just going to leave it like that. And uh, now what we want to do here is uh, just add a new layer, making sure that layer is on top here. And uh, what we're going to do here is with our brush tool of uh, around the same size, 10 pixels, uh, what we want to do is uh, just paint in here with white. So we're just going to make a curve here, just a little curvy white bit there of a highlight. And uh, now what we want to do here is uh, just set this uh, mode here of this layer here from normal to overlay. And as you can see, it also adds a bit more of a highlight right there, a different type of highlight. Okay. And uh, the last step here is to select an area of the skin that is darker just behind the area here where the mascara goes here. So we just want a shadow that it's around here. So we're going to pick a color. We're going to go with a color picker here. We want to go with an uh, average sample of um, probably 3x3 three three or 5x5. Five five. You don't want to go with a point sample. It's a little too small, too, too definite. And we want to select an area, like I said, that is a bit of a shadow area. So something like here we're doing. This is, this is an average color here of this area here. Okay, now that we've got that, and in a uh, new layer here, of course, what we're going to do here is uh, with our bigger brush, we want to, let me just zoom out a bit here, we want to paint in um, around the eyes. We're going to create more of a shadow. We're going to create more of a darker area here around the eyes here. So to just make it, the eyes pop out more by making these areas darker. So with a big brush, or bigger brush, we're just going to fill in the area here and we're just going to be you don't have to be very specific about this but you will want to be just selecting areas that are around the eye and not uh, you know inside of the eye and of course you don't want an area that is too big so if you if you do make a mistake if you if, you, if you're using too much of an area you can just use the brush to the uh, eraser tool here and just make it a little bit uh, less uh, pronounced per se okay and now that we've got that, we're just going to add uh, a blur. We're going to blur this in. So we're just going to go into Filter, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. And we're going to add in a radius of uh, around 10 pixels or so, just something that is uh, quite quite blurry, so you can't quite see the definite edges here. And uh, now we're just going to change the mode of this to Soft Light. And as you can see, with Soft Light here, we're just adding a bit of the... Uh, of that effect there of the eyes but we want to bring that back so obviously it's a little bit too much so we're just going to change this here to a lighter percentage so for example 20 or 30 percent just something that would just make it just a bit of a touch so it seems like it's a little bit darker around the edges there and uh, there we are so let me just um, show you here the before and the after and we can compare all this so here's the before and of course we're not bringing out much of the details in the eyes I mean it's just you know it's just very neutral uh, be a little bit dramatic, dramatic of a photo, but a little bit neutral here on the eyes, and I'm bringing that much focus in, and this is precisely what this uh, image is emphasizing here is the eyes. And now if we look at the after here, what we've really done is just punched up the details here in the eyes and making it a little bit more dramatic, so it actually fits a little bit better with this actual image. And with other images, you'll, you'll actually see that, you know, there, there'll be more, uh, the viewer will be more attracted to, to the image because the eyes will be drawing them in. So here we are before and the after. If you enjoyed this video, show your support by subscribing, rating, and adding it to favorites. Leave comments on our website and we'll create even more videos that interest you.